Hello everyone, this is Johannes and this is Cinema and you are watching Board Gaming Ramblings and today we are talking to you about our top 10 most anticipated games for Gen Con 2024. So today's first trick question, how hard was it for you Cinema to find out what your top 10 anticipated games for it Gen Con was? It was actually really easy, all I had to do was ask you to make it for me and it was done. Yes. It was magical, you should try that at home. Yes, ask me and I will do it. So this is the first time I have actually looked very actively on the Gen Con preview list on BGG. And why is that? Because we're gonna be at Gen Con. Yes, it's our first time going to Gen Con. And if you see us, please say hi. And you can also do the secret sign. Then we will be happy. And we will do the secret sign yes. back like a normal or a double or a quadruple secret sign. This is another oh, sign. The moose. No, this is the moose. This is the secret sign. It's two very different things. Yes. Please don't do the moose, do the secret sign, it's better. And uh, we cannot wait to see you there. But this was the first time I actually looked more at the list and I was like, is that it? <laughs> I'm used to working through the spiel list, which is like taking hours and hours and first finding 600 games that are of interest and then boiling that down into like a hundred games we usually have on our list for games that we, from the this have to go home this uh, most likely if there's room and if there's more room that's mm -hmm. kind of like the thing when i was to make this top 10 anticipated video i kind of had to work a bit to find 10 mm. because there are quite a few games but many of the games are releases that was released at spiel and now has a, a north american release so there are a few new games here and there we're going to talk to you about them i have included i don't usually do this but I've included things we have back on Kickstarter, the things that we might have before Gen Con. We did that, I think, for Spiel as well, yes, like we the did. top 10 anticipated. But, but but this is going to be the top 10 anticipated, so let's just jump into a bit more stuff. These are the top 10, as always, if this is your first time watching an anticipated list of ours. Now, do you have to know that we don't know these games much? So the reason we choose them, or the reason I choose them, the reason you choose them is because I choose them. Yes. But the reason I choose them is because they look nice, they have a nice designer, they have a nice publisher, or something of another is like, oh, this looks cool. So, with all that out of the way, here is another shallow top 10 anticipated list. Starting with number 10, do you want to begin? Yes, the first game on the list is Foundations of Metropolis. Oh, tell me all about it. This is actually an, uh, a game that exists before, that's called Foundations of Rome. Oh. Which... It's like this big box with a lot of stuff and this is basically the same game but in a normal size box with less stuff but still the the core concept of the game. Yes. I'm looking forward to that. And also less dollars you yes. have to, to give away to get it. That is important too because the game itself isn't this long epic game. Nope. It's like a, 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 a one hour-ish game. I think it's about an hour, yeah. And so I'm I'm preferring it this way with a less production overwhelming yeah. stuff just like the the, the game. gameplay. Yeah, because I've been wanting to play this game since it came out and now we get a chance because I never I, I don't need that like big stuff. I know a lot of people love that and I, I think that's amazing, but for me I always would have liked to just play the game. Yes. And uh, because we are more about the gameplay than all the other stuff. So number 9 is going to be The Mandalorian Adventures. This is an adventure game based on The Mandalorian. You could have guessed that maybe from the title. Yeah. It is from Cory Konieska, who is known for making like all of the Fantasy Flight games. Yeah. Um, everything. Like yes. Eldritch Horror, uh, the uh, the Star Wars games, the, the uh, Imperial Assault, yes. all of that stuff. Uh, and this one looks very interesting. I don't know too much about it, but it is a cooperative adventure game set in the Mandalorian universe. Star Wars universe. We enjoy that universe quite a yeah. bit. But as we always said, like we enjoy the universe more than we enjoy the the, the movies. Like I enjoy mm -hmm. the Star Wars movies, but I enjoy the Star Wars universe more than I enjoy the movies. So that is why it is number nine. I don't need to need a reason. It's there because I chose it. So back to you. Number eight is Gnome Hollow. Oh. And this is a cute, it looks really cute. Yes. It's a tile laying. Um, what do you call it? Worker, worker placement right, no? game, <clears throat> uh, which the designer also has um, done the the artwork for mm -hmm. the game. It looks really cute. I don't know how how like complicated it will be, nope. but it looks really cozy. I think Gen Con isn't like the place for heavy euro. Like we are so you like spiel is always a part of the year from like 
September to December where we、mm. get to play the heavy Euro games. But from what I understood, like the patterns where you place it with a tile laying,、mm-hmm. that is the puzzle, and combination、uh, co- that in combination with the rock replacement game.、Uh, Play that got me intrigued. Yes, I always find it fun with these、um, tiling puzzle things, trying to make things fit together and get points. Number seven is a game called Rock Hard 1977, and I basically don't know anything about the gameplay in this game other than the theme. You're a rock band in 1977, and you try to to practice, rehearse, have gigs, get the label record or the record label. No, a record contract. Rec- I don't remember the name of that in English now. A plate contract. It's called in Norwegian.、Uh, a contract to play music on a CD or a, a record, and then you get to get points and you win. It's from Devere, which is always like an interesting thing. This one caught my eye at Spiel. They had like the mock-up boxes. So this is one I'm excited about, even though I don't know much about. What you actually do in the game, other than the thematic things you do. Aha!、Uh-huh. Number six is Fate Forge Chronicles of Khan, and this is a campaign game which focuses on having these shorter missions that is easy to set up and tear down. So it's yeah more accessible than many other campaign、mm-hmm. games can be.、Uh, I'm looking forward to see if it's in the same category as King of Fire, or、yep. if they're going for a little different approach. I think from a, we I backed this on Kickstarter or GameFound. I don't remember.、Uh, it's more of a dungeon crawler, like you have、uh-huh. different map types and you're moving、nice. around, attacking enemies and stuff like that. So that's going to be interesting. Really excited to get that. Probably it's going to be delivered. Hopefully. While we are away, so we have it when we get back.、Nice. Number five is going to be Endeavor Deep Sea. I really like Endeavor. Me too. It's called Endeavor Age of Sail.、Yes. That's like the version we have played based on Endeavor, and now we have Endeavor Deep Sea, which is based on Endeavor Age of Sail. This is based on the same system. I think there's quite a few like changes, but it's based on the same system. But you know, underwater. Dun, dun, dun. I think this is a kind of a copycat move because they've basically done the same as the crew. They did like、yes. the space station thing, and then they did like the mission deep sea. Now they're just copying off of them. Yes, because you remember, Age of Sail is all about being in space. Yes, that is exactly what that game is、yes. all about. So it's it's nice that you. It's exactly the same. Actually, it's the same thing. Number four is going to be Reef Project. This is from Board and Dice. And this is another one I don't know too much about, but I'm always excited for a new board and dice game. Even though we don't love every one of their、uh, releases, we are a huge fan of the company. So that's like the main reason why it's here. It seems like it's going to be a medium style game, not too heavy. Like BDG has it as like I think a two or two point five. I don't remember. So pretty light.、Mm. But it looks like a more of a Euro game. You have、uh, it looks really nice to play a board with a boat on it, and you have these different spaces with different resources. You're placing these little things out on the board. I don't know anything about it other than that I have seen pictures and I know it, it exists.、Really nice. But it looks very beautiful,、uh, very colorful and nice. I don't usually need that. I like the beige color, but I also like colors sometimes. So those are some reasons why it's my number four. Number three is War Story: Occupied France. Yes, and we're really excited for this、mm-hmm. one because it kind of combines two really cool things. It's the story part, or like the the war, the accurate history from the war, and also it is a, a co-op deduction. No, it's not deduction. It's、I'm、a、sorry. narrative game. Narrative、yes. uh, game. So the creators from both. Um, and help me. Thank you. And and a lot of like he, he, the other designer I made and lot perspectives, perspectives, echoes, a lot of Sherlock Holmes come stuff. Come together、yeah. to make this. I'm really excited for this one. Yes, Osprey Games when they announced this, I was like, oh, that looks cool. And then you had those two designers、yes. making something together with two very different kind of systems. That's going to be very interesting,、yes. and I am super excited to play it. Number two is going to be another game from the Weird Games, and it's Cities from Steve Finn and Phil Walker Harding, which is a pretty interesting combination of、yeah. designers. Um, really, really excited for this one, obviously, because it's my number two or our number our two. Our number two. Yes. 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 You could have, and I got the list of you. You could have said, "I don't excite about this at all." Well, I, I'm, I'm, pr- we are mostly in alignment、yes. for the excitement stuff. So, that is true. Yeah, I, whoop, whoop. I trust you. You usually just play the games that are on the table in、That's、front、true. of you. And、uh, so, Cities is a another smaller. I think it's a pretty like light medium game. 
uh, but a city builder, and I'm always a fan of city builders, and I like the name. It is not called anything, it's just like cities. You know what you're gonna get. Yeah. You're gonna do stuff about simple. cities. And again, De Vere has gotten to be a company, even though we don't love everything, they've gotten to be a company that I will always be anticipated and excited about their new releases. So that's number two. There's only one more to go. Before we do that one, if you are enjoying this video, and it is giving you any value, you can help us out in a big way by giving us a victory point. And we get victory points when you click that subscribe button. You can also click the bell to get notifications every time we post a new video. And I'm also going to note, we're going to be at Gen Con. If you didn't know that from the beginning of the video, if you skipped right to number one, please say hi and give us a secret sign. So now, number one anticipated for Gen Con 2024, Indianapolis, USA. Number one yes. is actually an expansion. It is an expansion for Barcelona. It's Yay. the Passai di Gracia or something. I don't think that's perfectly pronounced. But what do you, don't you think? No. No, me I don't neither. know because I don't know how you say that. But it's No, I felt it. It was not right. But I, 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 what I feel also yes. is that I'm excited for this expansion mm -hmm. because I really like Barcelona and I'm looking forward to see what more he adds now yes. to an already really solid game. So I'm really excited for this expansion. Barcelona is a fantastic game, like one of our favorite games from last year. Mm -hmm. Super duper good. And yes, I agree with what you said. I cannot wait to see the new things. I've seen some pictures. It makes me be like, and it's such a great excuse to play a fantastic game more. Yes. So I'm very happy about that. And there's a couple of things I want to say. Like I think there's, there's a couple of more expansions actually that like, I almost made a list. One of them is the expansion for Forest Truffle. Mm -hmm. That one I'm excited about. Yep. And also one that you're not excited about probably. But it's an ex expansion for Gaia Project. But it's pretty yeah. cool. Mm -hmm. That so, so many years afterwards there's coming a new one with new factions and a couple of new stuff. Yeah, cool. So we're going to play Gaia Project again. You do like the game. It's yeah, just not like absolutely. your favorite of the Don't ones. Don't talk about it as I'm dreading that game because I, I really like it. You're also very happy that we recently got new expansions for Barrage because that is your favorite game. And this is going to be oh, the no. end of the video. Thank you so much for watching it. We really appreciate all of you. See some of you at Gen Con. What are your anticipated games? Are there any games we have missed? Please let us know and we will see you there. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Johannes. I'm Cinema. And you've been watching Board Gaming Ramblings and bye bye.